But the title is Dealing with Michigan's Roadblocks to Digital Road Building. And, and these are the three that I, I focused on. One is the Metro Act compliance, which perhaps a lot of you are aware of. And my, my sense of this is that uh, this could be a, a natural, fairly natural part of, of the planning process, that there's certain things a community needs to do to deploy uh, a municipal network. And I think a lot of it is simply good due diligence, you know, pointing you in a careful direction. So you, I think those are hoops you wanna jump through anyway, steps you wanna take. Um, there's also, uh, I don't know if it's been introduced, maybe someone else uh, attending here knows, in the uh, current uh, session of legislature, but uh, it's been proposed in the past where similar to the local improvement district, is that the, the, the term used in, in Idaho, where uh, in addition to being able to do a millage, you can also create a special assessment district that would be more customized, if you will, for where, uh, where the network would be built. And that all that requires is a simple amendment to the existing special assessment district law. And that's something that, you know, in my view is, is something that should be done, uh, but there's been resistance to that in the legislature, excuse me there. Um, and then uh, in my view, unfortunately, uh, the current law uh, controlling the, uh, the terms of eligibility for the state grant program, which I believe is, uh, I remember the acronym, Connecting Michigan, CMIC, I forget, it's too many acronyms for me to remember. Um, but it says that uh, pretty explicitly, governmental entities or educational institutes, institutions or their affiliates uh, cannot own, purchase, construct, operate, or maintain a communications network or provide service to any residential or commercial premises. So one of the pending questions now we face is at the federal level, we've got uh, a process that's going through the legislature and there's lots of politics around exactly what the terms will be with regard to the allocation of funding, any preemption, prioritization of funding. So we have to wait for that to shake out. But a concern I have is that, that at the state level, if uh, federal funding goes through the state program uh, that it may be that this restriction will be applied to federal funding that flows through the state program. So I think to me, my, my perspective is that's a really important political issue in the state. And I think it would be a very big mistake uh, for, for, for that to remain the case. Uh, and there's other things about that particular law, but I think it's that restriction uh, that exclusion, that's, uh, that's really a problem. So that's the context that we face in Michigan, which is uh, pretty uncertain, I guess I would say, with some risk and some, some very positive possibility. So I'll, I'll leave it there. 